I love this guy Rob Ford because he sticks his fingers back in people's faces and says, what, you don't do anything? When his brother said, who here in the council hasn't done marijuana? Crickets. <laughs> well, but his defense seemed to be, you know what, you elected me to be a penny pitcher and that's what I do every day. I didn't hear any, anybody say, no, different. So it seems like he does get the job done. People have, you know, freedom means free to get your job done however you get your job done. <laughs> I wouldn't want to tell anybody to tell me how to get my job done because it is slightly illegal also. <laughs> Slightly illegal also. You know, that's the first comedian I've really seen come out in defense of uh, Rob Ford. But anyways, I wonder if the people of Toronto are in support of Rob Ford. And we're going to talk about uh, the, this poll that came out from the Toronto Sun that's indicated that people seem to trust Rob Ford, at least as far as handling uh, the budget is concerned. So uh, Matthew McGuire is the founder of the Toronto Taxpayers Coalition, and he joins us now. Matthew, great to have you on the show. It's my pleasure. Who is the Toronto Taxpayers Coalition? We're a membership-based organization here in the city of Toronto. We're the only right-wing organization in Toronto. Uh, we sell memberships. We have about 4,200 members. And uh, we're fighting for fiscal accountability, economic freedom, lower taxes, and responsible government on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So, your position. Do you support Rob Ford? Or do you think Rob Ford is the best with the budget? Well, as a group, we support ideas, not people. Um, it's clear from the poll that the Toronto Sun published today that the City of Toronto does think that Rob Ford is the best to manage the budget. What this essentially means is that the electorate still supports co uh, Ford's core agenda of fiscal responsibility. When they look at Rob Ford, when they look at his potential challengers, people think that Rob Ford can best handle the public purse. You know, I, I was surprised by these poll numbers, to be honest with you, because 34% of those polled believed Ford would handle it best compared to 28% for Chow. John Tory, conservative as well, was only at 22%, uh, and Karen Stentz ended up with 8% uh, overall. Uh, John Tory, do you, know, do you think he wouldn't do a good job handling the budget? It seems Rob Ford's challengers have a long road ahead of them in an election fought on fiscal responsibility. I want to know who these 28% of people who think Olivia Chow would do a great <laughs> job with the city's finances. Good point well uh, made. I, I, I suspect they've never heard of her. Oh, uh, they're just voting for an NDP because they like the NDP or something along those lines? I, I mean, that's the demographic of Toronto. It's, very, uh, it's not very right-centered. We have some extremes on the left in the downtown core, and I suspect those are the people who voted for Olivia Chow in this poll. Uh, the problem is she's not the best person to manage the public purse. Um, the, with the other three, uh, John Tory, uh, Councillor Karen Stintz, or Rob Ford, we can have a debate, but we know that uh, a tax and spend NDP um, friends of the public sector, union bosses like Olivia Chow, would not be the best to handle the public purse, and that's not in the best interest of Toronto, quite frankly. Right now, City Council is dominated by these NDP spend, tax and spend types, mm. and we've seen what happened last week when they get control of the agenda. Rightly or wrongly, powers were transferred from the elected mayor of Toronto to the unelected deputy mayor. They pushed through bike lanes on Bloor Street, a very busy east-west corridor throughout the entire city, and they decided to take over a very costly and controversial Bixie bike sharing program. This is a, a program that the city of Toronto is now on the hook for you know, much of their four and a half million dollar startup loan. It's going to be a money loser. It has been a money loser. These are the irresponsible decisions city council makes. This is why I suspect that the electorate still supports Rob Ford's core fiscal agenda. Yeah, I'll take issue with only one point there, and that's the, uh, there was uh, an overwhelming majority, right and left, that, got, that took away Rob Ford's powers overall. So it's not just the left that is doing that, but your point is well made in terms of the other uh, aspects of this. And it's likely in this debate that the city employees, if you will, are going to ask for a 2.5% uh, increase in taxation. Rob Ford has said he wants one and three quarter, and that includes the half a percent for Scarborough uh, Transit. Would you be in support of the two and a half percent? No, we'd like to keep it lower. Uh, I think it will be above 2%. Let's keep it as close to 2% as possible. My fear is that we're going to have a core on council that wants to push this north of 3%. Rob Ford is wounded politically. Let's make his last budget have a very significant tax increase. 
it, it's really bad. They're playing politics on the backs of some of the poorest Torontonians, people who rent pay their property taxes through their rent. People who just purchased a home don't have a lot of um, cash flow right now will have to pay more. And I suspect that they will try to make a political point, um, take a shot at Rob Ford on the backs of these people. That's I, wrong. I, I think that that's wrong even from their point of view. If, they, if they'll give him a platform to rail against them for the next nine months, I mean, I don't know whether they'll necessarily want to give him that kind of a easy fodder, do you think? Well. I think they're willing to make a gamble. Um, Rob Ford has significant, significant personal problems. Um, he's still, despite all that, he's still trusted as the best person to manage the city's purse. Um, I think council may make a gamble on that. It was not, 2.5% just came out of last week. It was never discussed before. And then all of a sudden, Rob Ford is down, he's wounded, and council smells blood. And 2.5% is bandied about. Wow. I think that number may climb north of three before long. Okay, well, we'll see how that plays out. That's interesting if it does happen. Matthew, great to have you here. It's my pleasure. Matthew Thank McCoy. you. He's the uh, founder of the Toronto Taxpayers uh, Coalition.